All right, guys, I want you to see what I got right here. This is the black rat snake. Pantherophis obsoletus, and what I call it now, there's so many names for it. I mean, they keep changing the taxonomy of the species, but this is a really cool species. This is the most this is the most common species of snake you will find in the state of North Carolina. They have a very far range, and they range across most of the United States. You can find them about any sort of habitat, farmland, old houses, they love that kind of stuff, fields, anywhere where there's mice. But anyways, I'm going to talk about these guys a little bit. Um, as you can tell, he's black right now, but in the Piedmont Mountains, they can be black like this. As you get more towards the coastal plain, and maybe the sand hills area, well not quite sand hills, but the coastal plain, you can see a darkish green pattern with two prominent black stripes. And as juveniles, they have a gray backline color with black blotches down the back. Pretty cool. And their belly is mostly a pattern of black and white. As you can see, I've found a couple of all white bellies and all black bellies. It varies a lot, very variable, variable. Snake. Oh, can't talk today. But these guys are really strong constrictors. Um, that's mostly how they kill their prey. Well, that's really the only reason way they kill it. They mostly eat rats, any sort of rodents. Um, even they can take out birds in the trees. Sometimes they absolutely love to prey upon baby birds. Um, they'll come. Sometimes people will find them commonly in their chicken coops, and that's why they're called chicken snakes because they love to eat chicken eggs or baby chicks really good meal for them but not so good for them often because the owners usually kill them. There's no need to kill these snakes. They control rodent populations which can control a lot of other things. I mean you don't want rodents running around everywhere and plus that controls the tick populations and other diseases that are related to rodents and ticks. Really cool snakes. One of my favorites. They can get up to six feet. I think the largest documented one was maybe right at seven foot somewhere around there really big snakes. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear the rattling right now, but that's my ringtone. My phone's going off. But um, that's about all for this species. I'm going to end the video, and I'm going to add some other clips in the video of the snake crawling around, doing what rat snakes usually do.